What up everyone, this is JM47, back for you with another review with, oh my god, an empty box! Just kidding, this is the uh, Edgy Figure Arts Gogeta from the movie. Alright, can you come close? And this is what we're going to look at. Alright, first the necessities. He comes with an alternate head. Look pretty cool. He comes with alternate face place. He comes with wide open hands or style for blast effect hands. He get the coming coming hard glitching hands. Oh. Glitching hands. And he get the two Goku getting ready to kick your ass hands. Or karate pose hands. And now we look at the figure over look. He looked pretty cool. No shading, no nothing. He pretty cool. The trying to get him into that Kami Kami Han pose that you get me into. I you saw the first video. Pretty hard. Not not that hard, but the aggravating. He, his face plate does fall off every time you pose his neck. But you know that already, because you probably got the figure. He, he's pretty cool. His pants are left to be desired. Get the cross piece. The cross piece is your Goku butt, his legs. His arms. All right, let's get to the articulation. His head is on a swivel, on a ball peg. He can not look up. He can look down, but his face plate will come off. That's the problem. He can look side to side. <clears throat> See, why did they have to do this? They could have just put it on a normal ball peg. It would have been fine. Well, not a normal ball pack, but ball. Never mind. A neck is all. A neck is a, jo a joint. My head is a little bit. My head is a little bit uh loose. I don't know if that's gonna come up with all the figures. All right, with his shoulders go. He got a butterfly joint. You can hide that with this. And he got 90 degrees elbow. If you deflect the elbow, he can get a little bit more 90 degrees. That's fine. He can go surround. Oh, these are on a ball peg, so watch out when you're articulating them. He can go around 360. His knees, he can kick up pretty far, kick back pretty far, damn. <laughs> damn. He can do the splits. Oh, and this is soft practice. Not like the hard practice they would to do. Uh, they, he got some gappage. Eight to ten. He got toe articulation. His uh, foot can pop off. I don't know why they did this in hard practice. They could have did this in light practice, like they did the belt. You can get him in toe. I forget what it's called. Side to side motion pretty well. Anchor pivot. Anchor pivot pretty well. Knees pretty well. All in all, I give this guy probably better when it comes to execution. I give this guy a five out of seven.
for, well, playability. You can't really play with them or parts will fall off. My, when I first tried to bend his, split his leg, his leg came off. I'm like, what the heck? It was easy to pop back on, but he got a lot of, like, you can't really play with him, like, And he comes with no blast effect. That blast effect, I had to do it on my own. Oh, the switch the hands. It's a pop. Oh, he also has two fitted hands. It's a pop. The problem is that he got little stone bed. I'm afraid to change his hands out. Cause that little pop can break that hand. I think it's already worn and off too. That's a problem. It could have been a little bit bigger on the on the uh, hand track. Like look at how small that is, like baby hands. So that's a problem. You have to be very careful when like, putting it on. Like right now, I'm not being very really careful because his hands are hard to put on. Like you have to, you have to force it. Like, why can you make the peg a little bit bigger? <sighs> Damn it! I'm gonna break him. On camera too. Ah, there we go. But all in all, he's a good figure for H.H. Figure All Standard. They used to do horrible figures. Like some articulation break. But all in all, if you want to get him for the movie, get him. If you don't want to get him, you don't have to. He's pretty pricey on Big Bad Toy Store. And that's it for my review. This is JM47, signing out.